Hey, it's Alex here. So I recently updated all my Apple devices, including my iPad, iPhone, Mac, to the latest version of uh, iOS and Mac OS and iPad OS version 26, which includes liquid glass. Have you seen it? It's a beautiful interface. It gives this lovely, glossy, glassy effect, and I really like it. I wasn't sure before I upgraded, but now I've been using it for a few weeks, maybe a month or so. I absolutely love it. The effect looks really good. And now you can use the same effect on your WordPress websites. So in this video, I'm gonna really quickly show you how you can add a liquid glass effect to your WordPress website using this plugin. It is called Essential Add-ons. It's a great plugin. You can get it for just $3.99 a month at the moment because they've got a special offer on. Uh, that's one site, but you can get it for unlimited sites for $6.99 a month. And not only do you get the liquid glass effect, you get a whole load of other widgets that you can use with Elementor. I'll put a link up now. You'll also find a link in the description. It's an affiliate link. Thanks very much if you use it. Do go check it out. It's a great add-on. And if you're running Elementor, I highly recommend it. But anyway, let's get on the computer. Let me show you this liquid glass effect in action. So if you follow the link in the description, you'll hit this website. This is Essential Add-ons website. And as I mentioned, it's got loads of great elements that um, come with it. Content elements, dynamic content elements, creative elements, WooCommerce elements, loads of stuff. And right now they do have a sale on because it's Halloween, you get 30% off. So for unlimited sites, it's just $6.99 a month. Once you're signed up, you can then download the plugin and you get a license key. Just add it to your website in the usual way, go into plugins, add new and upload it. Then add your license key and you're good to go. I've already got a website set up with Elementor installed and with essential add-ons installed, all ready to go. So let's go and set up some liquid glass. So here's the website. It's not a live website, just a website to play around with. I've already added a um, container element here and a nice background image of some fish. Hey, why not? It looks good. So let's add some liquid glass. To start with, I'm going to try it with an info box. So I'm just going to find the info box. This is another essential add-ons uh, widget. I'm just going to drop that in. Looks pretty decent. First thing I want to do is just make all this text white so we can see it more clearly. So I'm going to go to style and I'm going to go to icon and let's change the color to uh, white. There we go. Uh, I don't want any hover color. Let's, uh, let's just get rid of that. Now let's do the color of the typography. Typography. I never know how to say that word. Um, white again. And the content down here. Um, white as well. Perfect. Now I just want to add a little bit of padding and adjust the width so we can do that in here. Let's add some lovely padding. Uh, I'm going to go for 50. Why not? Uh, then for the width, I want it to be, I don't know, kind of maybe 50%. Uh, I want it in the center. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Uh, we're on 49%. I don't think it makes a lot of difference. There we go, 50%. Looks good, so now let's add some liquid glass. Let's get it looking all glassy and lovely. So down here, within the advanced section of the info box, we've got all these lovely essential add-ons features. Here's liquid glass, and I'm gonna turn that on. And there we go, we've got the effect already. Now I should say that you do need to make sure that liquid glass is enabled within your essential add-on settings. Just go into essential add-ons within your dashboard, go to extensions and you'll find it right here. Just make sure that it's switched on. So now that we've got liquid glass turned on, we've got a few presets we can play around with. We've got the heavy frost, which is the one we've got right now. We've got the soft mist, which makes it a little softer. We've got the light frost, which is quite nice. It kind of adds it towards the bottom, leaves the top a little bit clearer. We can adjust the intensity down here. We've got the grain frost here, which is Kind of grainy. I actually like the heavy frost. I think that looks very apple-y. Oh, and here we've got the fine frost, which is some fan frost. <laughs> right, let's have a look at heavy frost. So you've got some shadow effects here. We can adjust these, so that adds a nice kind of glowy shadow. And effect two is like a normal drop shadow. One is a more subtle one. I quite like three, I think. That looks nice. Here we've got the border. I'm just going to leave that as it is. 
that's really about it. What we can do is we can apply it to the button as well. So if we add a button to our info box, we go to content and button, we can show the button and then we can enable the liquid glass effect. And look, we get a lovely liquid glass um, button. So that's it on the info box, but yeah, you can do it to whatever you like. I mean, even just simple um, elements. So say for example, we want to add a heading, we could just drop a heading in, well, I don't want it in the info box, I want it down here. Let me just click it, in fact, stick it down here. I do want to put it in that top container because the liquid glass effect really only works well if you've got a background going on. So let's just drop it in here. And there's our heading. Again, I'm going to add a little bit of padding like that. Uh, I'm going to get it centered. And then again, we can just go down here, go into liquid glass effect, turn it on. And there it is. Of course, it'll look better with a bit of white text. So let's uh, just make that look white. Pressing up against the uh, icon box, so we wouldn't want that. You'd probably add a bit of margin, right? There you go. Looks great on pretty much any element you want to play with. It's really that easy. It's a great effect. It'll make your websites look super modern, super clean. Uh, do give it a try. That brings us to the end of this video. Do go and check out Essential Add-ons. As I mentioned, it does way more than the liquid glass effects. In fact, you get over 95 widgets that you can use within Elementor and 15 add-ons. There's a link in the description. And at the moment, they have got a discount of around 30%. So get down there quick and secure yourself that discount. Let me know in the comments what you think about liquid glass. Do you like the style? You've got it on your iPhone? Let me know. I do read all the comments and I'll try to apply to as many as I possibly can. But anyway, until next time, I wish you the best of luck with your projects. See you later.